Michael and Carol, it's quiet now across the street from Burns High School, but earlier tonight there was a sea of blue and cheers you could hear from a mile away. Just a few miles away from the NAACP meeting on the future of the Rebels name, a colorful response from hundreds of Burns alumni. I would not allow my kids to come to Burns if they change the name. The heritage is not there anymore. A pledge to push on in the name of pride. And we're not going to go down without a fight. Alumni here tonight say drawing a connection between the rebel name and racism is far fetched. My entire family went to Burns. It's, it's a tradition here. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're black or white, it's, it's a school. This is history. Those here tonight say the fight goes beyond the state of South Carolina. We would make a stand not just for our school, but for other schools in the state. And across the nation. This isn't the first time the rebel name has been in the spotlight. In 1991, several students were suspended for wearing Confederate flags at school. Soon after, the school got rid of the mascot, which was a man with a sword and Confederate flag, but it kept the rebel name. There has never been any hatred and any racism regarding the name Rebel for Burns High School. Many alumni say they worry a name change would create a divide in a community they say has always been united. It's all about pride and respect, and we've had that pride and respect since 1955, and we're going to keep it going. Now, Confederate flags were not allowed at the rally tonight. A couple of people who tried to come here with one were asked to leave. Supporters of the rebel name say they don't want it associated with the Confederate flag. Liz Lohheist, WYFF News 4, live in Duncan.